I've lost 130 pounds. I ended up getting a lot of loose skin after that, especially in my arm area, and I still had some fat there too. So I wanna show you how I was able to make them look more toned and fit by building muscle in my shoulders and triceps. Those parts take up two thirds of your arm. And a lot of people tell you to focus on biceps, but the problem is when you train the biceps, the loose skin doesn't go here, it goes here. So by training that, you fill this part out and this part, and it ends up looking way more tight and fit. So I'm gonna show you my favorite tricep moves first and then get into shoulders. Okay, so I do this workout one time a week and I do triceps and shoulders on the same day. The first thing I do is about a five minute warm up. Then I do an activator with triceps. So I basically just put my elbows, I tuck them into my sides and I squeeze my triceps and bring like my hands behind me. I squeeze my triceps as hard as I can until they almost cramp and they feel really full. And I do that twice. Then I do my first move, which I'm gonna call tricep pull downs with a rope handle and I use a cable machine. I do 10 pounds per side, like a 10 pound plate per side. And what I do is I tuck my elbows into my sides, hold on to the rope with each hand, and I use my triceps to squeeze the weight down until my hands um, are like parallel to my thighs and I really make sure that the tension is on my triceps the whole time. I want to squeeze them when I'm going down and then when I let the weight up slowly I still want to have the tension on my triceps and I do about 10 to 12 reps like that then when I can't do any more, I lean forward a little bit and I raise my arms up until the, my upper arm is almost parallel to the floor. And I do what I'm gonna call like quarter rep sort of burnout. And I do as many as I can until I can't do them anymore. I do two sets like that. I am not a professional. I'm not a trainer. I don't have any papers, so don't listen to me. This is just what I do and what has helped me build my shoulders and triceps. The second one I'm going to call tricep push downs and I use like a triangle bar. I do 20 pounds per side, so like a total of 40 pounds. And I hold onto the bar, lean forward, and I wanna be like almost over top of the handle. I kind of hinge at the hips and I put my elbows into my sides again and I want to push the weight down until the handle almost touches my thighs and you'll really feel it in your triceps. I push with my triceps and again, I want to lower the weight up slowly so that the tension though is always on my triceps and I do two sets like that and eight to 10 reps. Then I move on to my third exercise, which I call skull crushers on the floor. So I lay down on the floor. I use 15 pound dumbbells, but I had to build up to that. I started with like five, then I went to 10. Now I use 15 and I do about eight to 10 reps, two sets. I lay down on the floor, dumbbell on either side. Then I raise them up over my head so that the dumbbells are like above my head and slightly over and I push the dumbbells up toward the ceiling squeezing my triceps the whole time then I lower them slightly like over my head back down almost to the floor I don't let it touch the floor because I want to keep the tension on the triceps and that's how I do the rep and then again eight to ten reps for that what I'm drinking during the workout is a bottle of water with creatine in it I've been taking creatine since I lost the weight because it has really helped me, I believe, put on muscle. It helps with performance and recovery in the gym. So like when I'm getting tired, whenever I have creatine, I feel like it really helps me push out the last few reps with really good form so that I can really put the focus on the muscle that I'm building. And this is HTLT Seps Creatine. Code Nicole will save you 15% off and the link is down below. Building muscle really helped me like totally reshape my body. And the bonus is the more muscle you have, the more calories you burn. 
because it increases your metabolic rate and it allows me to eat a little bit more while staying lean which is good because I have a really big appetite, so that really helps me. I'm gonna move on to shoulders, and here's the bonus with that. The wider you make your shoulders, like, see this? It gives you like this V illusion, so it gives you the illusion of a smaller waist. So look at this, see? My shoulders, I've made really, they're naturally wide, but by putting muscle on them, they're really wide and they look pretty fit, and whew, it makes my waist look smaller which is great because i don't have a perfect body after losing all of that weight i still i've got loose skin especially on my stomach like i can't get rid of this loose skin unless i get the surgery which i don't plan on i also do still have some belly fat so that works really well for me to build a part of my body that is already wide make it look wider and then make my not so great part look smaller oh yes and again like this gives the illusion like I've been able to fill out some of the loose skin, but it's not going to go away fully again without surgery. So this is kind of what it looks like. I still do have some, but watch what happens like when I flex. It really does tighten up. And then if you see like my tricep and my shoulder, it really does fill it out and tighten it up. So it does give me the illusion of looking quite fit. And, you know, I love wearing sleeveless shirts because it draws the eye to my shoulders and people are always like, whoa, your arms are so fit. But that's just because I put on some muscle. So number one for shoulders, side lateral raises. I use 15 pound dumbbells and I hang them by my side with my palms parallel to my thighs and I squeeze my shoulders and I bring my arms, leading with my elbows, out to the side until my dumbbells are almost parallel to the floor. And I squeeze my shoulders up and then I squeeze my shoulders while I slowly lower them down. I always want to keep the tension on. I do 15 reps. The last couple, I do use my body a little bit just to get them up because I start to get tired, but I am capable of doing 15 reps, so I push that out. Then I grab a pair of 20 pound dumbbells. I hang them again so that the dumbbells are like parallel to my thighs. And I do like swings, side lateral swings, where I pretend like I'm gonna do the whole movement, but I just do the bottom part. And that's just burning out my shoulder so that I really have worked the shoulders in a very short amount of time, but I've really made it intense. Then I do two sets and for the side ones, I do as many as I can. I try to get 14 to 15. Then the second exercise, it's a big one. It's a tri set. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna explain the whole tricep. I do the entire thing once and then I repeat it and do it again. So I do two sets of it. First thing I do is get a pair of 10 pound dumbbells and I lean over a preacher curl bench, but I do it backwards so that I'm facing the seat and I'm leaning like on the curl part. And I have the dumbbells parallel, like with my palms facing each other, hanging down at my sides. Then I squeeze my rear delts so that my elbows start going out to the side and I just pause a little bit at the bottom and then I bring them all the way up and out to the sides as if they're gonna touch the walls and I really squeeze and pause for a second and then lower it back down. I do 10 reps like that. Then I put my hands back down so that the dumbbells are hanging and the palms are facing each other and I do swings out toward the wall. I do 12 of those. Then I switch so that I'm swinging more out in front of me and I do eight like that. Then I put the dumbbells down and I go get a resistance band and I'm gonna call this like a rear delt hold. I grab the handles really loosely and I sort of like, Kyle helps me, he calls this like the turtle. You kind of want to make like a turtle shell with your back where you cave like your, your core kind of sucked in and you kind of look like a turtle and you want to pull the resistance band so that your arms go all the way out to the side, your elbows are slightly out, your arms are almost straight 
and like almost parallel to the ground, you wanna squeeze your rear delts and I hold that as long as I can until they're burning. And then that's the end of the tricep, then I do it again and the workout is done. So Kyle and I train the sides of our shoulders and the back. So the first exercise is for the sides of the shoulders and then the second one is for the rear delt which is at the back. Basically this gives you like the 3D look because we're training to look better and this makes your shoulder look wider and more full so that I have that, you know, V taper and the fullness and the Whoa, you look fit, honey, like that. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the workout that I do. If you wanna know like exactly how I totally reshape my body after losing 130 pounds, I've kept the weight off for over nine years now and I'm the leanest I've ever been, you can buy my weight loss ebook. It's called Leaner Not Meaner. It has my exact training plan, my exact cardio plan, and my four week meal plan with 24 tasty recipes. It's basically like spending a month with me, like you're a fly on the wall. Code Nicole will save you 10% and the link is down below for that. After losing the weight, building muscle was super important because it really helped me reshape and fill out the loose skin the best that I could to give me the appearance of being fit and toned. So I hope this helps anyone that's looking to like do that. I know a lot of women, they don't like the baddie wings and this has really helped me with that. Thanks so much for watching. Remember that weight loss should never be a punishment and neither should your workout. That's why we do our favorite moves in you know a short but intense period of time and focus on building the muscle or training the muscle that we're building without doing it so heavy that you can't even do it. We do a moderate weight, really enjoy it, really be there, and that's really helped Kyle and I. Don't forget to watch this bin, this bin for more fun, sustainable weight loss tips. Cause Sass and I are real friends losing weight in the real world. Sweetheart! I'll catch you in the next big cutie. Thank you for watching, sweetheart. Now, let's pretend we're posing like a bodybuilder. Are you ready? Here we go. Oh, oh, get yeah. this, 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 I know, I know, I know uh, the Mr. and Miss Olympias are going, oh my gosh. I hope she doesn't compete, man, because she's got me beaten and frozen. Yeah, they're shaking in their boots. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, guys. See ya. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Bike through it. <laughs>